Hello, in this video, we will explain the settings for no recoil software. But before we do that, let us give you some information about this software, and why do you even have to configure settings for your guns at the first place. This recoil control software works like a macro, but it's not built like a macro. Macros are generally detectable, and require a use of specific mouse type. This software is built differently and the mechanics of this software are completely different than a typical macro. It doesn't tamper with game files, not even the files of your mouse for that matter, that is why this is the safest recoil control software you can ever find. Because of these safety features, you need to make your configurations for guns as we don't tamper with game files to make the recoil zero automatically. To use this software, you can simply copy the configurations from our Discord for your particular game and gun. Most of the times it will be just perfect where you don't even have to change anything. 5% of the times you might have to tweak few numbers up and down, to make it perfect for your gun, and this is exactly what we are going to explain in this video. We will simply go over the settings, and tell you their impact on recoil pattern and when to increase the number and when to decrease a number. You can create new configurations from here. You can load previously saved configurations to edit them or delete them from here. And you can set up hotkeys here. This is the configuration name which will show up in configurations list. Enter the name of the gun here. Next two settings are, RPM and magazine size. RPM is rounds per minute. These two settings combined identify the span of your fire. Meaning how long you will be firing at the enemy with the full magazine, and for that amount of time the software will cancel the recoil. Tip here is to reduce the RPM by 10 to 30 from the actual RPM of the gun as it doesn't have to be exact. Before we talk about rest of the settings, let us tell you what is recoil split. In the first image, the recoil split is 1, because from start to end the recoil pattern doesn't change its direction. In the second image, there are two recoil splits. Blue and red. In the third image, there are two recoil splits as well. Because at first the recoil is huge and then it's very low at the end. First split is blue and the second is red. Horizontal percentage and vertical percentage are for recoil splits. So if you only have one recoil split then just put 100 in both. When you put 100 in percentage split, then that means only factor 1 will be activated throughout the recoil span. So, in this case you only need to put your number in factor 1 let's say 1000. On the other hand, factor 2 will have no effect on the recoil pattern, as the percentage is 100, so in factor 2 you can put 0. If you have two splits, like this image, this means you want more vertical recoil cancelling before 50%, and less vertical recoil cancelling after 50% then you put 50 in vertical percentage. Put a higher number in factor 1 and a lower number in factor 2. So factor 1 of vertical recoil will be activated for the first half, and for the second half factor 2 will be activated because you want more recoil cancelling in first half and less recoil cancelling in second half. Same is true for horizontal recoil percentage setting. Horizontal and vertical percentage will obviously be from 0 to 100. Factor 1 and Factor 2 can be from 0 to 10,000. Now games like PUBG PC where you need insane amount of recoil control and you just can't get enough recoil cancelling even after putting 10,000 in factors, then you can increase the step setting. So step setting is for huge recoil patterns. Now you know what all the settings do in the software. Watch the other videos where we show and set up the configurations of guns, and after watching this video you will be able to tweak those configurations according to your sensitivity to make it perfect for you. You can find more videos where we set up guns configurations in the description of this video. Thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.